Welcome back to the lecture series of digital electronics. In this video, we are going to discuss about error detecting and error correcting codes. When the digital information is transferred from one computer to another computer or one digital circuit to another digital circuit in the form of binary, an error may occur. For example, we have one computer or we can say a transmitter station. Okay, we have one transmitter station and here is one receiver station. And this one is the receiver station. Okay, here is the channel or we can say communication medium. Okay, this one is a communication channel. Okay, so when we transmit a digital information in the form of binary digital information in the form of binary from transmitting station to receiving station an error may occur due to unwanted signal which is also known as noise this means a signal corresponding to zero may change to one or one may change to zero okay due to presence of noise to maintain the data integrity between transmitter and receiver an extra bit or more than extra bits are added in the data thus extra bits allow the detection and sometimes error correction in the data the data along with extra bit or bits form the codes that means the final code is equal to message data message bits plus extra bits codes which allows only error detecting is known as error detecting code but the code which allows error detection as well as error error correction that codes are known as error detecting and correcting codes a bits are used for the purpose of detecting errors during transmission of binary information that bits are known as parity bits. Parity bits are used for the purpose of detecting errors during the transmission of binary information that will help us to detect the errors in the information. A parity bits are an extra bits included with binary information to make the numbers of ones either even or odd. The message including the parity bits is transmitted from transmitting station to receiving station. One device is attached at the receiver station which check the errors or parity bits. An error is detected if checked parity bits does not corresponding with the one transmitted. The circuit that generate the parity bits is in the transmitter station is known as parity generator. And the circuit that checks the parity in the receiver station is known as parity checker. In even parity, the added bits will make the total number of ones an even amount. In even parity, the added parity bits will make the total number of ones is equal to even number. And in odd parity, the added bits will make the number of ones an odd numbers. Let us understand this concept with the help of example. For example, we have 3 bit message and we want to make a message with odd parity. For example, message signal is 000. That means there is a no ones in the given 3 bit message. So if we want to make a odd parity, then in odd parity, the number of ones is equal to 
odd number that means if we have no ones in the given message then we will add one parity bit is equal to one that means now the message signal is equal to zero 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 and one parity bit is equal to one that means the number of ones in the given message is equal to one and one is a odd number clear let us take one more example if we have one message signal zero zero one okay that means the number of ones in the message signal is equal to one one is a odd number then we will add one zero as a parity bit then the final message signal is equal to zero zero one that is a message signal and one parity bit that is zero that means number of one in this final message is equal to one and one is also one type of odd number this way we can make a message with odd parity let us take one more example zero one one that means number of ones in the message signal is two that means if we want to make an odd parity message with odd parity then we have to add one more one then we get the final message zero 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 one 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 that means number of one in the message final message is equal to three and three is the odd number this way we can create a message with odd parity similarly we can create a message with even parity for example if we want to make message with even parity even parity then in the first example the number of ones is equal to number of ones in the first example is equal to zero that means if we want to make an even parity then we will add zero in the even parity in the message with even parity okay that means number of one in the first example is equal to zero okay this way we can make an even parity for example let us take last one example the number of ones in the message is equal to two okay and two is a even number so we will add zero in the message message with parity bits in the second example the number of ones is equal to one and one is the odd number so we will add one more one so the final message is equal to zero zero one one that means that now in the final message the number of ones is equal to two and two is a even number clear this way we can create a message with even parity in which the final message get number of ones is equal to even number okay in the last message zero zero one sorry zero one one zero that means number of ones in the final message is equal to two and two is the even number clear this way if we want to create a even parity then the final message with number of ones is equal to even number if we want to create a message with odd parity then number of ones in the final message is equal to odd number clear so this way we can create an even parity and odd parity with a given message bits in the next video we will discuss the most important humming code method to detect an error bits and correct the error bits in the given information at the receiver side. Thank you.